Hey, Mr. here with another weekly news bulletin that covers some of the YouTube and gaming related news that's happened over the last week, some of the larger stories as well as other smaller but still cool stories. And this week we're going to have a look at one of the biggest losers on YouTube, the person losing the most subscribers, a little bit about the gaming awards that are coming up, upcoming gaming awards, and a couple of games that are being turned into TV shows, as well as a bunch of other things, a lot of stuff to be covered. So having said that, let the news begin. First up is a story about Eugenia Cooney. Now, she's a YouTuber who got a lot of attention recently when Leafy is here, another YouTuber with over 4 million subscribers, did a diss video on her when she was trying to teach people how to twerk. When you look at her, it's pretty clear that she doesn't eat much at all, and the comments section of her videos is full of people asking her to eat more. Well, just the other day, she hit 1 million subscribers. So her subscriber numbers are on the rise. And in a sense of irony, Leaf is here, the YouTuber who did the original diss track on Eugenia, is losing subscribers. He's losing subscribers at such a rate that he is losing more subscribers than anyone else on YouTube. He is currently the number one unsubscribed YouTuber of all of YouTube. He's losing nearly 20,000 subscribers a day. Of course, he still has over 4 million subscribers, so it doesn't seem to be making much of a dent. But it's just mind-blowing to think that he's lost over 150,000 subscribers in the last 60 days when there are towns, large towns, that don't even have populations that big. Next up, we have some big news about Candy Crush. Last month, it was announced that a reality TV show based on the game would be made by Lionsgate TV to be aired on CBS, with part of the TV adaptation team being Matt Kunitz, who was the man behind Wipeout and Fear Factor. The show will feature a large interactive game board and teams of two will need to get through it to be crowned the champion. And it sounds a little bit like Wipeout to me, but with a bit of a Candy Crush theme. Anyway, at the time of the announcement, there was no word on when the casting would begin. Well, the casting call has now started and you'll find the direct link in the description below or you can go to the candycrushsaga.com slash casting or candycrushcasting.com to apply. Both places will take you to the same place. You'll need a photo of yourself and your teammate if possible and a short two minute video telling them all about yourself and why you want to be part of the show. There is no set date for when the show will go to air and at the moment there is no mention on who the host of the show will be. Next up is a call for beta testers for a new mobile app game called Get Wrecked. It's a two versus two MOBA style game for mobile devices. As you look at the footage, you might be thinking to yourself, it looks a little bit like Battle Right that I've reported on previously, and I'd agree with you. The difference, though, is that this is a game for mobile devices for iOS and Android. To join in the beta test, you'll need to be on Discord or be willing to get a Discord account. Discord is, of course, a communication app that a lot of gamers use. You can use the app on a mobile device, you can use the app on your computer, or you can use it through a web browser on your computer. The reason they want people to use Discord is so that they can organize with the testers when to be online to take part in the two versus two battles. Now, a version of the game can currently be downloaded on Android, but it's not the beta version. They also have plans to enable it to be played on Bluestacks with an Xbox or a GamePad controller in the future. Anyway, to read more about it, you'll find links directly to the website where you can sign up for the beta and a couple of discussion threads where you can ask a question or two or even email one of the developers directly. Next up is another reality TV show based on a game and this time it's the game CSGO. A Swedish company called International Format Group is creating a TV show which seems to be a cross between Big Brother and any other reality show where people live in a house together and are eliminated over time. The show, being called Gamers, that's Gamers with a Z, will see 12 people enter the house after all the eliminations have taken place. Footage from the house will be streamed 24-7 live and it will include their training and their nightly competition and their tasks as set for them. And after all is said and done, a month will have passed and five people will be left and they will win a contract to be part of a professional CSGO team. As I said, this is in Sweden, but the company does hope to roll out this format into other areas once the first one is done and dusted. As always, their website is in the description below if you want to check out what they're on about. Next up is a story about the upcoming gaming awards. They'll be taking place on Thursday the 1st of December, so not too far away now. And they'll be broadcast from the Microsoft Theatre in LA and they'll be streamed online so you'll be able to watch it from anywhere in the world. The games that are nominated are selected by 29 global media outlets 
And the selection is based with what the staff do. So the staff cast ballots and then they have discussions and staff feedback and so on and so forth. And that's how those outlets come up with the nominees for the different categories. But the winners are determined by fan voting. There are a whole range of categories and they include Game of the Year. The nominees for that being Doom, Inside, Overwatch, Titanfall 2 and Uncharted 4. My opinion is that it's going to go to Doom or Overwatch. Uh, Also, you've got Best Studio or Game Direction. You've got Best Narrative, Best Art Direction, Best Music and Sound Design, Best Performance for the Voice Actors and Motion Capture Performance, Best Game for Impact for Delivering a Profound Social Meaning or Message, Best Independent Game, Best Mobile or Handheld Game, and the nominees for that one are Clash Royale, Fire Emblem Fates, Monster Hunters Generations, Severed, and Pokemon Go. And I think Pokemon Go, if there was an award for the Flash in the Pan, Most People Losing Interest After Launch award, if there was an award for that, I'd say Pokemon Go would win that. Other categories are Best VR Game, Best Action Game, with a focus on combat, of course, nominees being predictably things like Battlefield 1, Doom, Gears of War, Overwatch, and Titanfall 2. There's also Best Action and Adventure Game, Best Role Playing Game, Best Fighting Game, Best Family Game, Best Strategy Game, Best Racing Game, Best Multiplayer Game, and then there are some fan categories such as Best Fan Art and things like that. To see a full list of the nominees for each of the categories and other info about the awards, please check out the link in the description below, which will take you straight to the award pages website. Next up is a story about Path of Exile. Now, this is a free-to-play game, and it's made by Grinding Gear Games. In this game, you play one of several exiles on a once beautiful land, which has become a haven of the undead and other nasties. And you basically have tasks and whatnot to perform as you make your way around the place upgrading your character. Well, December 2, we'll see an update patch that introduces an entire new level of gameplay as the players will be able to breach interdimensional portals and battle the other nasties in other dimensions. And since the game started, since the game's beginning, the monthly averages of players at any one moment in time has ranged from 4,000 at any one moment in time to 37,000 people concurrently playing at the same time. You can always find people streaming it on Twitch, and there seems to be a big following of the more well-known streamers, at least anyway. And this patch, like all the other patches in the game, and its introduction of a new league, because the patch will also introduce a new league, will probably see a spike in players. Anyway, you can find out more about the patch in the description below. Next up is a story about Nintendo. Now, they released a mini console recently, the Nintendo NES Classic. It contained 30 old classic 8-bit games. Now, remember, a lot of computers these days are 64-bit, so we're talking 8-bit games. It's it's quite ancient. It includes games like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Galaga, or Galaga, depending on how you like to say it, a whole range of Super Mario games and so on. It was released for 60 bucks in the USA, 50 pounds in the UK, and 100 Australian dollars. And in a surprise, they sold out everywhere. The big gaming chain EB Games in Australia had such a rush for the game, their online ordering system just crashed. Places in the US that sold out asked people to watch their Twitter as they'd announced new stock there when they got it. And when they did, the new stock was sold within minutes. And with none to be had anywhere, people have really started to turn to eBay and they're willing to pay three times the retail price to get their hands on one of these little things. Just about every auction has well over 30 bids and it sells for pretty high price. And throughout the entire sellout saga, Nintendo has reportedly said nothing about when the new stock would arrive. And so we can assume that they didn't really expect such a rush on the product. And I'm pretty sure they're lighting fires to try and get more product in the store for the, you know, lighting fires to motivate people to get more product in the store for the Christmas buying season. To me, it looks like Retro is back. And I know I'd buy one in the stores if I could. If only it had a longer, slightly longer gamepad control cord, which is only like a little bit over two feet, or a longer HDMI cable so you could still connect it to your TV, but be chilling back on the lounge and still playing it. Anyway, for a full list of the included games, see the link below to the official website. Next up is the game Watch Dogs 2. Now, when this was released, it promised a seamless multiplayer feature, and that was if you encountered other players in your solo game, you could seamlessly make it a multiplayer game and and play with them and carry on playing. Well, that was not the case, and there was a lot of unhappy people. Well, the good news is, finally, the problem apparently has been fixed, and it should now work, and the emphasis on the should. So now you can go to complete a mission, arrive at the mission place to go to complete it, 
change to multiplayer and wait for other players to arrive to help you complete the mission. And if no players are near you that are found near you to help you, then you can still complete the mission by yourself. So it's all good. And finally for this week, we have a story about ninjas and pajamas. Now they are a CSGO team and they recently won the Intel Extreme Masters event in Oakland beating SK Gaming. Now this was a premier event where the winners got $128,000 US, second place got $53,000. FaZe Clan, who you might have heard about, came third with $30,000 for their efforts. Well, this is the third time that ninjas have won a premier event this year. And so far, they are the only team to have won three such premier events for 2016. Of the Oakland event, 6,500 people a day were turning up to this thing. And at peak, they had 490,000 people watching the stream. Anyway, that's it for this news bulletin. You'll find links to the YouTubers and other stories and whatnot down in the description below. I do thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. No end. I appreciate the time that you spend to tune into the news. Please comment to let me know which story you like the most or least or which stories you'd like me to cover more of or less of. Please leave a like, leave a thumb up so it does help the channel and please subscribe to the channel as well so that you don't miss out on any other news bulletins. And until I see you in the next video, stay frosty.